lion and cherry berry too They're sea king of monsters, there are a few An alphabet garden is the monster's home But they like to wonder, they love to roam Everyone. It's such a hot and sunny day in Capital Town this morning. I wonder how the ABC monsters are keeping cool. Shall we take a look and see? Look, there's I Monster. He's keeping chilled with some tasty ice cream. O Monster is drinking a cold, refreshing glass of orange juice. And there's F Monster. He's making a lovely cool breeze with his fan. Oh dear! Poor H Monster looks very hot indeed! Hey, look! There's Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry sitting in the shade with X Monster. X Monster has found the coolest spot in Alphabet Garden! Just then, King Wordy and Queen Scribble arrived. <laughs> We're a little worried about the ABC Monsters. It's getting too hot and we don't want them to get overheated. I think it would be a good idea if you round them up and get them into the shade. Don't worry, leave it to us. Come on, Cherry Berry. And with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song and help Alice find the missing letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. One of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one? F G I J. Hmm. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is H. <gasps> oh no! H monster is missing. <gasps> where could he be? We must find H monster quickly. But where do we start? Let's look in the ABC book. <laughs> The clue says, search for a large animal with hooves that needs help with his hiccups. Look, the ABC book is telling us to go south. That will take us near the stables. Okay, everyone, let's head south. <laughs> Remember, we're supposed to be looking for someone with hiccups. Hello, does anyone here have hiccups? Suddenly, from behind came a strange sound. <coughs> Who can be making that hiccuping sound? Can you guess which horse it is? That's right! It's the gray horse! Horace the horse is the one with the hiccups! Oh dear! I've had them all day! We tried everything to stop him from hiccuping, but nothing works! Can you help us? If we cure Horace, can you help us find our friend H-Monster? Yep! Come on, Horace! You just need to hold your breath a little longer. 57, 58, 59, one minute. Have the hiccups gone? Um, I'm not sure. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry just couldn't think of anything that could cure Horace's hiccups. Who would like a sweetie? Oh, can I have one, please? Me too, Brian. Yep. Here you go, Horace. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Then something remarkable happened. Hey, can you hear that? What? Mm. I can't hear a thing. Horace, 
Sometimes the horses stop hiccuping. You've cured him, Brian. Horace's hiccups had stopped, all thanks to Brian's sweet. Hooray! Horace the horse! That's it! Horse! Search for a large animal with hooves that needs help with his hiccups. A horse! H-O-R-S-E. Horse! It works! Thank you, three. Horace is nice and quiet for once. Yes, so to help you on your quest to find H-Monster, here's a clue. Look for an animal that is stuck. So with a new clue to solve, Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to their new friends and continued on their journey. Help! Help! But it wasn't long before they ran into someone else needing their help. Someone's in trouble. Sounds like it's coming from that field. Help! Look, it's Heidi Hippo. And she's fallen in the mud. I haven't fallen in the mud. I came in here on purpose. Why would you want to get all dirty? Because it's a hot day and hippopotamuses like me prefer to keep cool in the mud. Only I got stuck and now I can't get out. Can you help me? No problem. We'd love to help. Can you see something that can be tied around Heidi the Hippo? A ball, a tricycle, a kite, a long hose pipe. That's right! The hose pipe is perfect for tying around Heidi the Hippo. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry pull Heidi out of the mud? Let's all put our hands together like this. One, two, two three. Hee! That's great! Come on, everyone! Pull as hard as you can! Hee! Fantastic! One more big pull should do it! Are you ready? One, two, three... Hee! Well done, everyone! Now Heidi is free of the sticky mud. Phew! Thanks. I thought I'd never get out of there. It's very embarrassing for a hippo to be stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud? Of course! Our clue was look for an animal that is stuck. Heidi was stuck and she's a hippo. Hippo is the word we were looking for. H-I-P-P-O! Hippo! So why are you three so far away from Capitol Castle? We're looking for H-Monster. He's gone missing. Oh, I think I might be able to help you there. I saw him earlier. Here's a clue that might be useful. H-Monster is in a shop having something cut. Thank you, Heidi. Good luck finding H-Monster. <laughs> we need to find which shop H-Monster was visiting if we're going to solve the final clue. Let's find out. The last shop on the street is the hairdresser. Shall we take a look inside? Here he is! H-Monster is in the hairdressers! We found him! Hooray! Hello, everyone! What do you think of my new haircut? You look very handsome. But why did you get your hair cut? It's such a hot day, and nothing I did to cool down work. So I thought I'd get my long woolly hair cut. I feel cooler already. Just then, Cherryberry remembered something very important. The final clue in the ABC book. H Monster is in the shop having something cut. The answer is hair. So... H-A-I-R. Hair. Hair fits perfectly. We solved all the 
puzzles, met new friends, and found H-Monster! Hooray! So, with the help of Heidi the Hippo's host kite, H-Monster found a way to keep the rest of the ABC monsters as cool as himself. I love hot sunny days. Hello everyone! Welcome to another fun-packed ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say a big Brainy Gang hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherry Bay. Together, we'll be finding out about the letter H. Meet H-Monster. Hello, H-Monster. Let's start with a song that H-Monster loves singing. This song is all about the letter H. Here we go. Monster H has gone away Here too long to run and play Saving a hippo and helping a horse H is a letter that's useful of course Monster on the loose so please beware Wanting someone to cut his hair Monster on the loose so please beware Wanting someone to cut his hair What fun things we can learn today! Look, here's Cherry Berry. Look everyone, a big red letter H. H. All together now, say it with me. H. H. <laughs> Look at H Monster! He's making sure his favorite letter is spotlessly clean. So, can you write the letter H? Let's all write it with H Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then, we're drawing a big H. Excellent! Let's do it again. A big H. That's it! Well done! H. Now that we all know how to write the letter H, Let's take a look at some new words that begin with the letter H. Can you tell us what this animal is? He's big, has four hooves, and you can ride on his back. Have you worked out what he is yet? Shout out your answer so that we can hear you. That's right! He's a horse! Horse! H O R S E Horse All together, let's say it one more time. Horse H O R S E Horse That was great fun. Let's do another one, shall we? Do you know what kind of animal this is? She loves being covered in mud. That's right! She's a hippo! Now let's see what the word hippo looks like. Hippo. H-I-P-P-O. Hippo. Brilliant! Let's do it again. Hippo. H-I-P-P-O. Hippo. 
You've correctly answered two of the questions. Let's see if you can get this one right as well. Ooh, this is a difficult one, but I'm sure you can work it out. What is H monster covered in? Here's a clue. It also grows on your head. That's right! Hair! Now here's what the word hair looks like. Say it with me. Hair. H-A-I-R. Hair. Let's say it together one more time. Hair. H-A-I-R. Hair. Brilliant work, everyone. We've all learned three new words together. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter H? Now, let's get active. Are you feeling fit and strong? Yes? Well, let's do an ABC monster exercise. Welcome, everybody. Stand up if you want to have some fun. Now clap your hands in the air like this. Excellent! Let's get active with the ABC Monsters. Today, we'll be doing the H Monster exercise. Watch Alice, everybody. She'll show you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big H. That's it. Easy, wasn't it? Ready to do it again? A big H. Brilliant. Now you know what to do. Let's all do it together. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Fantastic. Wasn't that easy? Ready to do it again? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Wow! You've got the hang of this exercise. Let's have a short rest because you'll need to be ready for the ABC Monster Quest. Here comes Heidi Hippo. Hello, Heidi. What you doing here? Hello, everyone. I need a nice cool mud bath, but I can't find any mud. Can you help me? Don't worry, Heidi. We'll help you find some mud. Can you help Heidi Hippo find her pool of mud? Just fill in the box with the correct letter to help guide Heidi to her destination. Listen carefully. Can you tell me which is the correct letter to go into the first box? Is it U, F, or could it be O? That's right! The correct letter is O. Horse. H, O, R, S, E. Horse. You're doing really well. Now let's take a look at puzzle number two. Can you tell me which letter we should put into the box? Is it S? Could it be P? Or is it Y? That's right! The letter we should put into the box is P. Hippo. H I P P O. Hippo. Now for the final puzzle. Are you ready? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it the letter A, C, or maybe it's T? You're right again! The letter we should put into the box is A. Hair. H A 
I R. Hair. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! Congratulations. You've helped Heidi Hippo reach a mud bath. Hooray! I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter H. So let's finish today's show with some music. Sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star, H Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Welcome to a very cold day in Capital Town. <laughs> it's so icy that Easy Perkins is slipping and sliding along the road. Let's see if the ABC monsters have wrapped up warm in Capital Castle. Here's poor I Monster. But don't worry, I'm sure he'll get warm soon. <laughs> There's E Monster, Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. They're very clever. They're exercising to keep nice and warm. Look, it's King Wordy and Queen Scribble. They have an important announcement to make. I have a very important announcement. The weather forecast says it's going to get even colder later today. So I want to make sure that all the ABC monsters are wrapped up warm. Cherry Berry is going to assemble all the ABC monsters so that Alice can check that they are all here and wrapped up warm. I just love assembling the ABC monsters. So with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. The ABC Monsters is missing. Can you guess which one? G H J K. This is hard. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is I. It's I Monster that's missing. I wonder where he went. We have to find him. Let's see if the ABC book can help. Good idea, Brian. The clue says, Ivy Irwin has lost her pet lizard, Iggy. He's a special type of lizard called this. Hey, the ABC book is telling us to go east. East is over that way. Let's find Eye Monster. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry had not been walking for long when Alice said, Ivy is a friend of mine. I know exactly where she lives. Ivy lives over there. Great, let's go knock on her door and see if she's in. Alice knocked on the door, but there was no answer. Maybe Ivy's not in today. Then suddenly, Alice heard a voice. Hello, Alice. It's Ivy. But where is she? Here I am. <laughs> what can I do for you all? We've lost our friend Eye Monster, and we were hoping that you might be able to help us. I've got a clue for your quest, but I'll need your help first. What would you like us to do? My pet iguana, Iggy, is somewhere in the garden. Iguanas are lizards. They don't like the chilly weather. So I need to get him back inside my warm house before he catches a cold. Don't worry, Ivy. We'll find Iggy for you. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Ivy's pet iguana? 
Look carefully. Can you see him? Is he under the bush? In the wheelbarrow? Next to the watering can? Or in the pond? That's right! Ivy's pet iguana is in the wheelbarrow. Thank you so much! You found my pet iguana! Iguana! That's it! The answer to the first clue! Ivy Irwin has lost her pet lizard, Iggy. He's a special type of lizard called this. He's an... Iguana! I G U A N A! Iguana! I'd better take my iguana into the house so he can warm up. But first, I'll give you another clue. Ivan the inventor needs some red liquid for his new drawing machine. I hope you find Eye Monster soon, Alice. Good luck! Thank you for all your help, Ivy. And so Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Ivy and her pet iguana and continued on their journey. I wonder where Ivan the Inventor is. He's probably inventing something amazing. Suddenly, there was a loud noise. Look over there! Quick, let's investigate. <laughs> Look, everyone. It's Ivan the Inventor. Hello, Ivan. What happened? Hello, Alice. You're just in time. I've built my greatest ever invention. It's called the Purple Whiz Bang Wobbler. Uh, what does it do? It draws pictures of the things you want to find. Really? Can it draw a picture for us? Yes. We need some red ink to make it work. There's a bottle of red ink over there. Did you find it for me? No problem. Leave it to us. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find the bottle of red ink? Look carefully. That's right. You found the red ink. Aha! This is exactly what we need. Okay, everyone. Think of something you want to find. Concentrate very hard. Suddenly, the whiz bang wobbler sprung to life. The whiz bang wobbler drew a picture of the monster we're trying to find. It's Eye Monster. The machine is working perfectly, now that we've added the red ink. Ink! That's the answer to the second clue. Ivan the inventor needs some red liquid for his new drawing machine. He needed red ink. I-N-K! Ink! We're another step closer to finding Eye Monster. If you're looking for Eye Monster, here's a clue that will lead you to him. Eye Monster has gone to get a heater to melt the material that is made of frozen water. I hope the clue helps you find Eye Monster soon. Thank you, Ivan. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Ivan the Inventor and headed off to search for Eye Monster. Shop. Good idea, Brian. That must be where Eye Monster is. Exactly. It's not far. Follow me. <laughs> We're here. Wow. This store sells all sorts of electrical products. 
look at all the useful things in the window. But where's Eye Monster? Then suddenly... Look who it is! It's Eye Monster! <laughs> hello, Eye Monster! Yo, hello, everyone! What are you carrying under your arm? It's a heater, man. It's so cold and icy today, I thought I'd get a heater from Ian's electric shop to melt the ice in Alphabet Garden, dude. Wow, that's a clever idea. I'd rather be nice and warm, man. I don't like cold weather, especially when everything's covered in ice. Ice? That's the answer to the final clue. I Monster has gone to get a heater to melt the material that is made of frozen water. Frozen water is called ice. I-C-E. Ice. Ice is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found Eye Monster. Hooray! Eye Monster's heater was such a good idea that not only did it melt the ice in Alphabet Garden, but it also kept everyone snug and warm. My heaters really hit the spot. Now that Alphabet Garden is lovely and hot. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say a big Brainy Gang hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about an incredible letter of the alphabet, the letter I. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang. Can you guess who it might be? That's right! It's Eye Monster! Hello, Eye Monster! Eye Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing along to his favorite song. Are you ready? <laughs> Have you worked it out yet? That's right! It's the letter I. I. All together now, say it with me. I. <laughs> Look at I Monster! He's not feeling cold anymore with his new letter I. Let's see if you can write the letter I with I Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then. We're drawing a big I. Brilliant! That's a great looking letter I. Let's try that again. A big I. Wonderful work! Another beautiful letter I. <laughs> I Monster's very happy because he can now write his favorite letter I. Now we all know how to write the letter I. Take a look at the following words that begin with incredible I. D. 
Do you know what this animal is called? Here is a clue. He comes from South America and is a breed of lizard. He's also green and covered in scales. Shout out the answer if you know. That's right. He's an iguana. Iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. That's right. Let's say it one more time. Iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. Okay. Here's puzzle number two for you to solve. Can you guess what this useful liquid is called? You put it in your pen so that you can write. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's called ink. Now let's see what the word ink looks like. Ink. I-N-K. Ink. Well done. Let's say that again. Ink. I-N-K. Ink. You've answered the first two questions correctly. Get the next puzzle right and you will have completed this section. Are you ready for the next clue? Here it is. Our final puzzle is a little tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. Do you know what this material is called? Here's a clue. Water turns into this material when it gets very, very cold. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's ice! And here's what the word ice looks like. Say it with me. Ice. I-C-E. Ice. That's right! Let's say it together one more time. Ice. I. Excellent! You've solved all three puzzles. Can you think of any more incredible words that begin with the letter I? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC monster move. Hi kids! Are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the Eye Monster exercise. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big eye. That's it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big eye! That's it! Now you know the eye monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four! And three! That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then! One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four! And three! Two, three, four, four! Two, three, four! Brilliant! You've just completed the eye monster move. Now let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Ivan the Inventor. Hello, Ivan. What are you doing here? Hello, everyone. I'm looking for some red ink to get my whiz-bang wobbler drawing machine working. Don't worry, Ivan. We'll help you find your red ink. Can you help Ivan the Inventor find his bottle of red ink? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it P, U, or the letter V? That's right! The correct letter is U. 
iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Take your time. Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter C, B, or O? Well done! You're right again! The letter we need to put into the box is C. Ice. I C E. Ice. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it F? L or could it be the letter K? Excellent answer! You picked the correct letter again. The letter K. Well done! Three out of three. Ink. I N K. Ink. Well done! You've cleverly guided Ivan the inventor to his red ink. Thank you, everyone. Now my machine will be able to make beautiful new drawings. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about our featured letter, Incredible Eyes. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, I Monster. ABC. And welcome to another beautiful day in Capital Town. Hmm, the sign says that there's a jamboree at Capital Castle. Let's take a look and see. Wow, look at Pea Monster. He's very talented. He's spinning plates. Uh-oh, I hope they weren't Queen Scribble's favorite plates. I wonder what King Wordy and M Monster are up to. Abracadabra! They're performing a trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! It's Cherry Berry and J Monster juggling. They're very good, aren't they? Will you be juggling for the Jester Jamboree, Cherry Berry? I wanted to do an act that nobody had ever seen before, but I can't think of anything. So I don't think I'll be taking part this year. But you've got to! You always enter the Jester Jamboree. It's tradition! We'll try and help you think of an act, Cherry Berry. Thanks, but I don't think there's enough time. Is there, Jay Monster? Uh-oh. Now, where did she disappear to? We'd better assemble the ABC monsters and check that they are all here. And with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song and help Alice find the missing letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, Carefully, one of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one it is? H I K L. Hmm, this is a hard one. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is J. So it is J Monster that has disappeared. Oh no! 
What will we do now? Let's look in the ABC book and see if it can help. The clue says, this is the name of a wibbly-wobbly dessert. Mmm, I like desserts. Look, the ABC book is telling us to go west. Come on, everyone, let's go. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry had been walking for quite some time when Alice suddenly said, My legs are tired. Mine too. We've been walking for ages. Don't give up just yet. I'm sure we're nearly there. Hey, who's that over by the hedge? It's Jenny Shaker, the jelly maker. I wonder what she's doing. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Alice. What are you three doing here? We're looking for Jay Monster. Have you seen her? Yes, she was helping me pick some of these juicy raspberries, but she's gone now. Ooh, are you making raspberry jelly? That's right, Brian. I'm making a giant raspberry jelly for the Jester Jamboree. Mmm, sounds delicious. Unfortunately, I've lost three jugs that contain my special jelly mixture. Can you help me find them? Yes, we'd love to help. I think they're in the kitchen. Don't worry, Jenny. We'll find them for you. Ooh, look at all that jelly. I'm sure my jugs are hidden away in here somewhere. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Jenny's special jugs of jelly mixture? Can you see them yet? Well done! You found all of Jenny's jugs. Shall we count them? Ready? Count with me. One, two, three. Thank you for finding my jugs of jelly mixture. Now I'll be able to make my giant jelly for the Jester's Jamboree. Jelly, that's it. Jelly is the answer to the ABC book's clue. This is the name of a wibbly wobbly dessert. Jelly. J E L L Y. Jelly. We solved the first puzzle. Excellent. But can you work out what the second puzzle might be? This is the name of the shiny green object that Jack Jackdaw is looking for. Good luck solving your new clue. I hope you find Jay Monster soon. And so Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Jenny Shaker, the jelly maker, and continued on their journey. I'm sure Jack Jackdaw lives here in the park somewhere. Can you see Jack Jackdaw? That's right, he's sitting on Brian's head. I wonder where he can be. <laughs> there he is, Brian. <laughs> and you can't see him. <laughs> Are you looking for me? Yes. We thought that you might know where we can find Shay Monster. Yes, have you seen her? I have. I spoke to her earlier. I'll give you a clue if you can help me with a puzzle. We love puzzles. Great! I need to find my shiny green jewel. Can you help me find it? Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Jack Jackdaw's shiny green jewel? The jewel is located somewhere within the park and it looks like this. Is it in section 1, section 2 or section 3? Look very carefully. Can you see it? That's right. The jewel was in section one. Well done. There you go, Jack. I'm so happy that you found my shiny green jewel. Jewel, that's the answer to the second clue. This is the name of the shiny green object that Jack Jackdaw is looking for. It must be a jewel. J-E-W-E-L Jewel! Because you were all so clever, I will give you another clue to solve. Jay Monster has gone to the funniest place in Capital Town to get one of these. 
I'm sure you'll have that little puzzle solved in no time. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry wave goodbye to Jack Jackdaw and set off to track down J-Monster. Slow down, Brian. We're struggling to keep up. I think I know where to find J-Monster. Really? Where? The funniest place in Capital Town, of course. And where's that? The joke shop. Come on, you two. Not much farther to go. <laughs> this is the funniest place in Capital Town? Doesn't look very funny to me. Not on the outside, but inside it's completely different. I can't see Jay Monster. Can you? No, I don't think she's here. Wait a minute, who's that? Can you guess who that is? <laughs> she is dressed very silly, isn't she? That's right, it's Jay Monster. We found her! Quick as a flash, Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry entered the shop to see their friend. <laughs> Hello, Jay Monster! Hello, everyone! <laughs> Why are you wearing that silly outfit? I thought Cherryberry and I could dress up in silly outfits and do an act together for the Jester Jamboree. That's a fantastic idea! I've also picked up a great new joke from Mr. Jones, the joke shop owner. You can tell it to the audience as we finish the act. That's the answer to the final clue. Jay Monster has gone to the funniest place in Capital Town to get one of these. She got a joke. J-O-K-E, joke. Joke is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found Jay Monster. Hooray! <laughs> Later that day, Alice and Brian watched a brilliant act performed by Cherryberry and Jay Monster. And because Jay Monster found such a brilliant joke, Cherryberry said she should tell it. Knock knock! Who's there? Boo! Boo hoo! Don't cry, it's only a joke! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherryberry. Today we're going to find out about the letter J. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, J Monster. Hello J Monster. J Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing her favorite song. Are you ready? Solving problems and helping folk. 
Here's J Monster with a big wobbly jelly. And look, here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the jelly has turned into? That's right, it's the letter J. J, all together now, say it with me. J. Look at J Monster. She thinks the letter J will be as yummy as the jelly. Let's see if you can write the letter J with J Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big J. Well done, that's looking really good. Let's try and do another big J. Excellent, a beautiful letter J. J Monster is very happy because she can now write her favorite letter, J. Now we all know how to write the letter J. Take a look at the following words that begin with J. Do you know what this food is called? Here's a clue. It's wibbly and it's wobbly and you can eat it for dessert. Shout out the answer if you know. That's right, it's jelly. Jelly, J-E-L-L-Y, jelly. That's right, let's say it one more time. Jelly, J-E-L-L-Y, jelly. Okay, here's puzzle number two for you to solve. Can you guess what this object is called? It is very shiny and very expensive. Have you worked it out yet? That's right, it's called a jewel. Now let's see what the word jewel looks like. Jewel, J-E-W-E-L, jewel. Well done, let's say that again. Jewel, J-E-W-E-L, jewel. Our final puzzle is a hard one, but I'm sure you will be able to work it out. Do you know what this sheet of paper contains? Here's a clue. There is something very funny written on the paper. Something so funny that if you read it to your friends, you'll make them laugh. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's a joke! And here's what the word joke looks like. Say it with me. Joke. J-O-K-E. Joke. That's right. Let's say it together once more. Joke. J-O-K-E. Joke. Can you think of any more outstanding words that begin with the letter J? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move. Hello everyone! Do you want to have some fun? Stand on your feet if you want to have some fun. Okay then, clap your hands in the air like this. Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the J Monster Move. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy! If Alice can do it, so can you! Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big J! That's it! That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big J! That's it! Now you know the J monster move we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Brilliant!
Brilliant! You successfully completed the J monster move. Now, let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Jack Jackdaw. Hello, Jack. What are you doing here? Hello, everyone. I'm looking for my shiny green jewel. But I don't know where it is. Don't worry, Jack. We'll help you find it. Can you help Jack Jackdaw find his shiny green jewel? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it A, E or the letter P? That's right! The correct letter is E. Jelly. J E L L Y. Jelly. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it the letter B? K? Or S? Write again. The letter we need to put into the box is K. Joke. J O K E. Joke. Well done. Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it L? I? Or could it be the letter K? Excellent answer! You successfully picked the correct letter again. The letter L. Well done! Three out of three. Jewel. J E W E L. Jewel. Brilliant! You've cleverly guided Jack Jackdaw to his shiny green jewel. Thank you, everyone! Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, J. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, J Monster. ABC. Let's join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters! Hello everyone! It's very early in the morning here in Capital Town. I wonder if anyone is awake in Capital Castle. Good morning! It's King Wordy and K Monster! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! And here's Princess Alice and Cherry Berry. Good morning, everyone. What you doing? Kay Monster is helping me to make Queen Scribble a special surprise breakfast. But it's not going very well. Have you remembered the kiwi fruit? Mom just loves it with her breakfast. That's the problem. I think we've run out. Oh dear, oh dear, it's half past seven already and I haven't even checked to see if the rest of the ABC monsters are up this morning. Don't worry, Dad. You keep looking for the kiwi fruit, and K-Monster, Cherry Berry and I will take care of the ABC monsters. Meanwhile, in Alphabet Garden, the ABC monsters were waking up. Wow! All the ABC monsters seem to be up this morning. And someone else was up early this morning, too. It's Brian, Alice and Cherry Berry's friend. Hello, Brian. You're just in time. Yes, we're about to check that all the ABC monsters are here. 
And with a wave of cherry berries jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song and help Alice find the missing letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, One of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one? I, J, L, M. Hmm. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is K. K monster is missing. K monster needed some kiwi fruit for the special surprise breakfast for Queen Scribble. It's up to us to find K monster. Let's see if the ABC book can help. The clue says, look for something you can fly while standing on the ground. Look, the ABC book is telling us to go northwest towards the park. So what are we waiting for? Let's go to Capitol Park. Remember, we're looking for something you can fly while standing on the floor. <laughs> Balloons are spelt with a B, not a K. <laughs> that's not flying, that's swinging. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry had looked all over the park, but hadn't seen anything that could solve the ABC book's puzzle. This really is a hard clue to solve. Maybe if we wait here for a while, the clue might come to us. Look over there! Can you see something that you can fly while standing on the ground? Well done! You found it! It's Carrie the Kangaroo! She's flying a kite! Kite! That's it! Look for something you can fly while standing on the ground! A <laughs> kite! K-I-T-E! -I -I -T -E. Kite! It fits! Hello, Carrie! We're looking for our friend K-Monster! Have you seen him? Hi, Alice. Yes, I've seen him. He helped me fly my kite earlier, then he had to go. Whoa! Suddenly, Carrie lost control of her kite. <laughs> oh, dear. I hope your kite is okay. Don't worry, Alice. I'll soon have it flying again. Would you and your friends like to help me fly my kite? Yes, please. <laughs> get my kite back, I'll give you a clue to help you find K-Monster. Can you help find Carrie the kangaroo's kite? Is it kite one, kite two, kite three, or kite four? Have you worked it out yet? It's number two, the red and white kite. That's right. I'll have to be more careful when I fly my kite again. Here's the clue I promised you. Look for one of these. A hungry young cat in hiding. Good luck. I'm sure you'll find K-Monster very soon. It's not long before Alice, Brian and Cherryberry meet someone else that needs their help. Look, 
It's Karen Kent. Her balls of wool are escaping from her shop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, everyone. Please come in. What happened? Oh, I accidentally knocked over a pile of knitting wool balls whilst trying to find my kittens. It's time for their breakfast, but they seem to be playing hide-and-seek, and I can't see them anywhere. Oh, dear. We'll help you find your kittens. If you can find them, maybe I can help you with something in return. There are three kittens hiding in the shop. Can you find them? That's right! There's a kitten on the shelf. Well done! You found the second kitten. Just one more to find. Can you see him? Congratulations! You found the third and last kitten. Oh, thank you very much. Now each kitten can have its breakfast. Kitten! That's it! The answer to the clue. K I T T E N Kitten! I'm so grateful to you all. Is there anything I can do for you? We're looking for our friend K-Monster. He's gone missing. Have you seen him? Well, I might be able to help you with another clue. Look for the market and you'll find K-Monster earning some of these. Hey, I know where the market is. Great, let's find K-Monster. <laughs> So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry hurried off to track down K-Monster. Can you see K-Monster yet? That's right! He's helping Kenny Kennedy run his knick-knack stall. We found him at last! Hooray! Hello, everyone! What are you three doing here? We've been looking for you. Oh, I'm just helping my friend Kenny sell some knickknacks in his market stall. Yes, K-Monster's been a great help this morning. We've sold lots of stuff, so as a reward, you can have these. Wow, a whole box of kiwi fruit. Thank you, Kenny. I know someone who'll be real glad to see these. Just then, Cherryberry remembered something very important. The final clue in the ABC book. Look for the market and you'll find K-Monster earning some of these. Kiwi's the answer to the last clue. So... K-I-W-I! Kiwi! Kiwi fits perfectly. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found K-Monster. Now, let's return K-Monster to Alphabet Garden. So, as the morning sun rose high into the sky, it soon became clear that K-Monster not only returned with enough kiwi fruit for Queen Scribble's breakfast, but had plenty left over for every ABC monster as well. All thanks to K-Monster. Mmm, kiwi fruit. Yum, yum. Hello everyone! Welcome to another ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. And here they are, Alice, Brian and Cherry Bay. Are you in the Brainy Gang yet? Well, I hope you're all feeling brainy today because together we'll be finding out about the letter K. And to help us, meet our friend K Monster. And K is a wonderfully fun letter of the alphabet that can be used for all sorts of things. But first, let's get started with a special song all about the letter K. Are you ready? Hello everyone, look at K. Say hello to my 
monster K. He's gone missing again today. Meeting a kitten and flying a kite. K is a letter that's easy to write. Finding kiwi fruit without delay. So we can learn new words today. Meeting a kitten and flying a kite. K is a letter that's easy to write. Fun things we can learn today. Look, here's cherry berry. Look, everyone, the picture has changed into a letter K. K. All together now, say it with me. K. K. <laughs> Look at K Monster. He really likes the letter K, doesn't he? Now, can you write the letter K? Let's all write it with K, Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Here we go. We're drawing a big K. That's great. Can you do it again? A big K. That's right. K. You're very good at this. K Monster is very happy because now he can write his favorite letter, the letter K. Now that you can write the letter K, let's look at some great new words that start with, you guessed it, K. Do you know what this might be? It's a lot of fun to play with. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right, it's a kite. Kite. K I T E kite All together say it one more time Kite K I T E kite Very good Let's do another one shall we Do you know what this is Let me give you a clue It's what you call a baby cat that's right! It's a kitten! Now let's see what the word kitten looks like. Kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. Excellent! Let's do it again. Kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. You've got the first two questions right. Let's see if you can get this one right as well. This is a hard one. What kind of fruit begins with a K? Can you work it out? That's right! It's a kiwi fruit. Now here's what the word kiwi looks like. Say it with me. Kiwi. K-I-W-I. Kiwi. Let's all say it together one more time. Kiwi. K-I-W-I. Kiwi. Brilliant work, everyone. We've all learned three new words together. Can you think of any more fun words that begin with the letter K? Now, let's get active. Are you feeling fit and strong? Yes? Well, let's do an ABC Monster exercise. Hi kids, are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the K Monster exercise. Watch Brian everybody, he'll show you what to do. It's very easy and it's fun, you can do it. Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big K. That's it! 
Easy, wasn't it? Ready to do it again? After three. One, two, three. A big K. Great! Now you know what to do. Let's all do it together to the music. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Fantastic! Are you tired yet? No? Okay then, let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Wow, you've got a lot of energy. Okay then, have a quick rest because you'll need to be ready for the ABC Monster Quest. Hey, look! It's Carrie the Kangaroo! What are you doing here? Hi, everyone! I need to go to the big playing field in the park to fly my kite. But the park is very big and I'm lost! Don't worry, Carrie. We'll help you find the field. Can you help Carrie the Kangaroo find her way through the park? It's easy! Just fill in the box with the correct letter and Carrie will find her way to the big playing field. Do you know which letter we should put into the box? Is it A? Could it be I? Or is it C? Yes! The correct letter we should put into the box is I! Splendid work! Kite. K I T E. Kite. Now let's take a look at puzzle number two. Can you work out which letter we should put into the box? Is it B? Could it be O? Or is it T? That's right! The letter we should put into the box is T. Kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. Now we have the final puzzle. Can you help carry the kangaroo by solving it? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it S? Perhaps it's A? Or maybe it's W? You're correct again! The letter we should put into the box is W. Kiwi K-I-W-I Kiwi Thank you, everyone! Now I can fly my kite! Congratulations! You've helped carry the kangaroo reach the big playing field. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter K. So let's finish today's show with some music. Sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star, K-Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Hello everyone, and welcome to another sunny morning in Capital Town. I wonder what the ABC Monsters are doing today. Let's take a close look. There's our old friend, our monster. She's got a rubber ring. Rubber rings are used to help people that can't swim. Here's Alice and Brian. Whee! <laughs> They're watching Ann Monster play with an old fishing net. <laughs> 
and Monster thinks he's a superhero. Look, what has F Monster got? It's a fishing rod. Hmm. What does F Monster need with a fishing rod? Can you see who I can see? It's Queen Scribble, King Wordy, and Cherry Berry. Hmm. I wonder if King Wordy is going to make an announcement today. He is going to make an announcement. Let's listen and see what he says. By royal decree, it gives me great pleasure to announce that we will all be taking a trip to Lyric Lake today! Hooray! Cherry Berry, would you assemble the ABC monsters for Alice? <laughs> yes, ma'am! So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Look carefully. One of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one it is? J, K, M, N. Hmm, this is a hard one. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is L. Oh no, L monster has disappeared. We have to find L monster, but where do we start? Let's look in the ABC book and see if it can help. The clue says, Louise Little has lost an animal that is white and woolly. Look! The ABC book is telling us to go north. Come on, everyone. Let's go! Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry were walking down a country lane when suddenly... Hello there! Hey! Who said that? I did! Look! Over there! I know who that is. It's... Louise Little! Hello, Louise! Why are you on the other side of the hedge? I'm looking for my lost lamb. Have you seen him? No, but maybe we can help you search for him. Yes, we'd love to help. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> when I spoke to Al Monster earlier, he said that he's seen my lamb in this field, but I can't see him anywhere. Al Monster? But we're looking for him. Do you know where he went? If you can find my lamb, I'll give you a clue to help you find Owl Monster. That's great news. Don't worry, Louise. We'll find your lamb. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry find Louise's lamb? Is he by the pond? Hiding in the hay? Or near the tractor? Maybe he's hiding behind the apple tree. Look carefully. Can you see him yet? Well done! You found Louise's lamb! Thank you for finding my woolly white lamb! Lamb, that's it! Lamb is the answer to the ABC book's clue. Louise Little has lost an animal that is white and woolly. Lamb! L-A-M-B! Lamb! We solved the first puzzle! Excellent! You are all so kind in helping me. So I'm gonna help you with a clue. Mary Lloyd needs to find a special object so that he can see in the dark. Good luck solving your new clue! And I hope you find Elle Monster soon! And so Alice, Ryan, and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Louise and her lamb and continued on their journey. I wonder why Larry would want something to help him see in the dark. Yeah, it's not dark at all. The sun is out. Look, there's Larry Lloyd. Let's ask him. 
So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry went to say hello. Hello, Larry. Hello, everyone. Why are you sitting outside your house? I'm thinking. I want to go into my dark cellar, and I need my lamp to see. L Monster suggested that I try and remember where I last saw my lamp. L Monster, we're searching for him. Well, if you help me find my lamp, I'll give you a clue that will lead you straight to L Monster. Brilliant. We'll soon find that lamp for you, Larry. The lamp is somewhere in Larry Lloyd's garden. I last saw it somewhere in my garden. Can you see it? Is the lamp near the flowers? On top of the bird bath? In the greenhouse? Or next to the watering can? Well done! You found the lamp! It was on top of the bird bath! Wonderful! I'll be able to see where I'm going when I visit my cellar with my bright lamp. Lamp! That's the answer to the second clue. Larry Lloyd needs to find a special object so that he can see in the dark. Lamp! L-A-M-P! Lamp! Because you were all so very clever, I am going to give you a clue that will lead you to L Monster. L Monster is helping Captain Lionel repair his boat so that it can sail on this. I'm sure you'll solve my puzzle easily. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Larry Lloyd and continued on their way. Boats, and I know the best place to find those. The harbor? <laughs> no, Cherryberry. They have ships and sailing yachts in the harbor. I know where we should go. The lake. Lots of boats use Lyric Lake. Yes, and I know where it is. Follow me. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry hurried off to Lyric Lake. Those boats! I love to take a ride on one of them. Hmm. I can't see El Monster. Can you? We'd better look around the lake carefully. We wouldn't want to miss him. Let's help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find El Monster. Look carefully and see if you can spot him. Can you see him yet? Is he near the rope? By the anchor? Or hiding behind the rowing boat? He could be over by the swan. Or with Captain Lionel. That's right! L Monster is with Captain Lionel. Well done! Hooray! We found L Monster! Let's go and say hello! Hello, L Monster! We've been looking for you everywhere! I've been here with Captain Lionel. I wanted to organize a big surprise for everyone at Capitol Castle. Ooh, I love surprises! Captain Lionel kindly offered to take us all on a boat trip around the lake. That's wonderful! Unfortunately, my boat sprang a leak. So El Monster gave me a hand to repair the hole. Thanks to El Monster and his hard work, my boat's as good as new now. I'll now be able to take everyone on a special trip around Lyric Lake. <laughs> Lake! That's the answer to the final clue. El Monster is helping Captain Lionel repair his boat so that it can sail on this. Captain Lionel's boat sails on the lake. L A K E. Lake. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found El Monster. Hooray! Later that day, 
everybody from Capital Castle visited Lyric Lake as planned. Only this time, L Monster had a wonderful boat trip waiting for them. Hooray! And because L Monster had helped Captain Lionel fix his boat, Captain Lionel let him take a turn at steering it around Lyric Lake. Our day trip is a wonderful break. Thanks to our boat ride on Lyric Lake. Everyone, welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about the letter L. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, L Monster. Hello, L Monster. L Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing a brand new song for him. Are you ready? He's holding the brightest lamp in Alphabet Garden. Here comes Cherryberry. Can you work out what letter the lamp has turned into? That's right! It's the letter L. L. All together now, say it with me. L. <laughs> Look at L Monster. He is proud of the brightest letter of the alphabet, letter L. Let's see if you can write the letter L with L Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then, we're drawing a big L. Well done, that's looking really good. Let's try and do another big L. Excellent, a lovely letter L. <laughs> L Monster is very happy because he can now write his favorite letter, L. Now we all know how to write the letter L, take a look at the following words that begin with, you guessed it, L. Do you know what this object is called? Here's a clue. It's a handy object to use in the dark because it's very bright. Think carefully and shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's a lamp! Lamp! L-A-M-P Lamp! That's right! Let's say it one more time! Lamp! L-A-M-P Lamp! Okay, here's puzzle number two for you to solve. Can you guess what this animal is called? It's a special name that you give to a baby sheep. Have you worked it out yet? That's right! It's a lamb! Now let's see what the word lamb looks like. Lamb. L-A-M-B. -E. Lamb. Well done! Let's say that again. Lamb. L-A-M-B. -E. 
lamb. You've correctly answered the first two questions. Just one more to get right. Do you think you can solve it? Our final puzzle is slightly harder, but I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. Can you tell me what is in the picture? It's a large area of water, it's bigger than a pond, and you often find boats on. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's a lake! And here's what the word lake looks like. Say it with me. Lake. L. A. K. E. Lake. That's right. Let's say it together one more time. Lake. L. A. K. E. Lake. Brilliant work, everyone. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter L? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move. Hello, everyone. Do you want to have some fun? Stand on your feet if you want to have some fun. Okay, then. Clap your hands in the air like this. That was fun, wasn't it? Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the L Monster Exercise. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big L. That's it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big L. That's it. Now you know the L monster move. We can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was fun. Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Brilliant! You successfully completed the L monster move. Now let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Captain Lionel. Hello, Captain. What are you doing here? Hello, everyone. I'm lost and I'm in need of a navigator to help guide me and my boat back to Lyric Lake. Don't worry, Captain. We'll help you get to the lake. Can you help Captain Lionel guide his boat to the lake? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and direct him along the clear path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it I, M, or the letter D? That's right! The correct letter is M. Lamp. L, A, M, E. Lamp. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter A, Z, or T? Right again! The letter we need to put into the box is A. Lamb. L A M B. Lamb. Well done. Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it W, V, or could it be the letter K? 
excellent answer. You successfully picked the correct letter again. The letter K. Well done. Three out of three. Lake. L. A. K. E. Lake. Brilliant! You cleverly navigated Captain Lionel and his boat to the lake. Well done! Thank you, everyone! Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day. Hell! But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, L Monster. Adventures with the ABC Monsters. 